Hey peeps, we are back. We're talking the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 12, episode six. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. So before we get into this episode, Episode six is actually the 250th episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Kyle has been on every episode. She is officially the OG of Beverly Hills. Richards, Lisa Rinna, and Garcelle Beauvais get real. Megan, who are the Real Housewives? More specific, of uh, Orange County? No. Nope. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, honey, listen, you know you've made it when you made it to Jeopardy. However, it seems that that lady had no clue regarding the difference between the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or the OC. And you saw those gentlemen, they had no clue. I said, oh, well, moving on to the next question. Anyway, you guys, before we get into this episode, did anybody see the now deleted TikTok video? of one of Sutton's daughter's ex-best friends? Well, listen, I didn't see it either, but I did pick up the cliff notes and it turns out she went on TikTok and she says, me, when I cut off my high school best friend of five years because her mom was racist to me and now she's a real housewife getting called out for being a racist and her response is, my white daughter had a Chinese friend on TV. Now, honey, listen, the young lady says that she's not even Chinese. It does leave me to wonder, is there more to Sutton's story? Is Crystal right? Did Sutton make some dark comments? Because even on Watch What Happens Live, Crystal doubled down and she said that Sutton did say some other things to her. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to keep watching because I'm pretty sure that if Bravo got it on camera, they are absolutely going to show us. Get down in the comments and let me know what you think about Sutton's daughter's ex-best friend and her comments about Sutton being a racist. Now, when the show starts off, we find out that Garcelle has bought Glam, so has Sutton and Erica. And Erica says that she shouldn't be judged for paying for Glam. Honey, listen, that's money that could be going to those victims. I'm just saying. Crystal says that she cannot imagine paying for people to fly there, then paying for their food and their room and paying them to do your hair and makeup. She says she can just throw on a little lip gloss and go on about her business. Now that I can understand and I can get behind because I am the same way. I do not put on makeup every day. I actually only wear makeup when it is a special occasion. Me, myself, I throw on a little moisturizer with a 30 SPF and some lip gloss and go on about my business. I'm just saying. So the ladies meet up on the beach. They are having a beautiful breakfast. And when I say beautiful breakfast, listen, I like to check out all the food. And honey, everything looked great. And Sutton, we all know from the last couple episodes that this woman enjoys bacon. Diana, for some reason, she cannot let go of the fact that Sutton likes a little bacon. Have we ever heard Sutton come right out and say that she is a vegetarian? I have heard her mention multiple times that she doesn't really eat a lot of meats, but I have never heard her say she is an actual vegetarian. For some reason, Diana can't let this go. I don't know why Erica wears this. She is a bully, like a badge of honor. Personally, I think it's disgusting. You are a grown woman of 50 years old. Why the hell are you proud that you are a bully of people? I can understand not wanting people to walk all over you. I understand standing up for yourself, but being proud to be called a bully, being proud to be told in a court of law that you are using the same tactics of your alleged criminal soon to be ex-husband is cute? I don't think so. I really don't. And the fact that she offered to help Sutton study for taking the bar exam, uh, no ma'am, no ma'am. I would like for you and Tom to stay far away from me in my legal exams, okay? 
I don't want anyone down at the bar association knowing that I even associate with you or Tom. I'm just saying. She also lets us know that she is taking Lexapro and it's due to her uh, antidepressants that she is so relaxed as she is. I said, girl, please, your behavior is still just as bad. I don't see any difference. So Lisa, Erica, and Crystal decide that they're going to take up surfing. They're gonna to try to learn how to surf, get out in the water and have a good time. Diana decides to just get out in the water and enjoy being at the beach while the rest of the girls decide to go out shopping. I absolutely would have went out shopping because listen, as I've told you before, when I go to the beach, I walk out into the water to the knee, to the knee, okay? Don't ask me to surf, don't ask me to get on a paddle board with you. Don't ask me to get on a jet ski. I don't want to get on a tiny boat. I don't want to be in the canoe with you. I walk out to the knee, okay? When I'm out here to the knee, I can see if a shark is about to attack me or if a jellyfish is about to sting me to the knee, okay? I'm in the water to the knee for about 10 minutes. Then I'm headed back because somebody has got to drink the pina colada and it might as well be me. I'm just saying. What I thought was great about this boutique that they went to, right in front of the boutique, they have a bar. You just walk right up to the bar and order a martini or anything that you like to drink, you know, a French 75, whatever you'd like. You just walk up and place your order. Then you go into the boutique to purchase whatever you'd like. Now, Garcelle lets the girls know that she has recently purchased a beach house. They are super excited. And what I did not like is Garcelle kept mentioning how tiny and small her beach house was. You do not have to, she should be proud of herself and proud of her accomplishments. Who cares about these ladies? Who cares about how small your beach house is? The point is, is you bought it, you're building it, and it's for you and your family. Who cares about these girls? Be proud of what you've accomplished on your own. While they're in there shopping, now everybody knows, now you, listen, listen peeps, you know that I have zero fashion sense, zero fashion sense, but so does Sutton, you know, and she owns that store, and I said, ma'am, those fashions are dreadful, but anyway, she picks out this very unattractive ring at the boutique, and it turns out that it's the most expensive item in the store. This ring is $5,000. She decides to buy it, personally, I wouldn't have bought that ring. That ring was very unattractive. But listen, if she likes it and loves it and has the money for it, I am happy for her. It must be nice to throw away $5,000 for that unattractive ring. Okay, I'm gonna get off that ring. I'm gonna move on. Now back at the hotel resort, Erica has decided that she is going to go forward on her mission to get everyone to hate Sutton. Crystal is sitting there on a lounger enjoying her afternoon, not bothering anybody. When all of a sudden, here comes Erica. Let's talk about what happened last night. She called you a liar. Oh, you cannot allow anybody to call you a liar. You've got to stand up for yourself. You cannot be walked all over. She will continue to just gun for you and gun for you, Crystal. I mean, it was a bit much. She makes you no, scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of Erica. She called you a liar last night, Crystal. I don't want conflict. I know, but she invited it. She called you a liar last night, baby. Crystal, she needs to grow a pair of balls. Crystal, I feel like no. is more manipulative. I have heard about this group of friends and this problem. It's a lot to be dropped by 14 friends defending herself. I don't know. To Garcelle trying to win Garcelle's approval. She's wanting Get to that. be liked by all of us and she I wants think, to look like a victim sure. at the same time. Do I think Erica is biased because of her history with Sutton? For sure. Was Crystal in a good mood? Was she okay? No. No, she cried the entire time. What was the worst part for her? Remember. <laughs> I really think it was horrific that Erica wants to try to act as if Sutton is a bully, considering how Erica treated Sutton all season last season, and she is still currently being extremely disrespectful to Sutton. She's mad at Sutton for exposing her lies. I was really kind of upset with Crystal too, because I said, Erica is sitting here pretending to be your friend. She's not your friend, she's just Sutton's enemy. And Crystal fell for it. I don't think that Erica cares one iota about Crystal or Crystal's feelings. The fact that Crystal allegedly lost 14 friends, something is odd about that. 
I mean, 14 people decided they don't like you. 14 people have decided that they'd rather be bothered with somebody else. 14 people have decided that they don't care that your husband directed the Lion King. I'm just saying something is odd about this. And it clearly Garcelle and Kyle, they see through this. And this is so upsetting to me. I am agreeing with Kyle. Oh gosh. I was really happy that Sutton said that she's not afraid of Crystal or Erica. Sutton is really standing up for herself this season. I truly hope that Sutton is not a racist. I truly hope that she did not make that young lady feel bad in her home. I am looking forward to seeing more information about this. Um, I did see a recent interview with Garcelle and she said that her and Sutton's friendship is still going strong, but that she is not talking to Crystal right now and she doesn't want to. So I don't know what's going on there, but that'll be interesting to find out as well. And the way Diana and Erica and Lisa were all huddled around Crystal, cradling her like a 12 year old. I said, what is going on? And then Diana telling Crystal that she needs to get some balls or some backbone or something. Really, Diana? Okay, I'm gonna remind you about this later. Kyle mentions that she too has heard these rumors. So, I don't know, maybe Sutton shouldn't have thrown it out there, but how much do you wanna bet that before this season is over, either Kyle, Sutton, or Lisa will bring one or more of these 14 friends on to talk about Crystal? Also, this is episode six and still no Kathy Hilton. What is going on? Crystal at least got it right when she said that she knows that Erica is biased. What she got wrong is she says she knows Erica is biased because she doesn't like Sutton. However, she thinks that Erica is really concerned about her. <laughs> okay. Well, Kyle is back in her room. Erica is glammed down to her socks. She's getting her stuff together. Lisa is over there visiting and Kyle is in her room with no glam except for herself, ironing her own clothes. He FaceTimes Erica and Lisa because of course she needs to know what's been going on, who said what, because she's producing, you know. And she, Erica and Lisa says, oh, Crystal cried and she cried and she cried. Now, come on now. The fact that neither Erica or Lisa could remember anything that Crystal said was extremely telling because basically they spent the entire day harassing this woman, making her feel terrible, trying to get her to dislike Sutton. All they were doing was weaponizing her against Sutton and she fell for it, standing out there in the hot sun, crying her eyes out, drinking liquor. So the ladies all get glammed up and ready and they come down for dinner. And let me just tell you, Garcelle was serving, okay? She ate that look up, slayed all the way down to dinner, okay? She looked gorgeous. Then Lisa Renna with a smirk on her face brings up Diane's book, Room 23. Can you tell the story about the book? Yeah. I, I feel like I have. I don't particularly want to talk about the book tonight. But Not like an international sex trafficker <laughs> and, and madam oh, of high-class prostitutes. Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's honestly so ridiculous, dangerous. All you need to do is leak a bunch of fake rumors and you can actually destroy somebody's life. Diane didn't want to talk about that book. Uh-uh, Diane said no. She won't talk about that book. She won't talk about those rumors. And then she brought up how rumors like this could destroy a person's life. Okay, so rumors can destroy a person's life, but Sutton is not allowed to be upset about Crystal spreading rumors that she might be a racist. I guess it only matters what it's you. I'm just saying. I think that Lisa brought up that book to be extremely calculating. I think she brought that book up because she wanted the ladies at the table to know about those rumors. And she also wanted the fans to look up Diane Jenkins. And that's what I did. So I found this article from The Sun and it said the naked truth about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills newbie, Diana Jenkins, breaks her silence on the rumors that she's a madam of high class prostitutes after releasing nude book. And it says, Diana herself was accused of running a secret call girl ring. Honey, now listen, I don't know if she was a madam, but that book looked real risque. But it reminded me of that book that Madonna had years ago. 
you know, with all the other celebrities. And I remember Dennis Rodman was in the book. I never actually seen the book, but I, you know, saw it covered on TV, on entertainment and things like that. Um, I was not surprised that Lisa Renna was in the book, but I would like to know a little more about Diana. Everybody noticed that right at the table with Diane, Dorit said, I think she wants us to talk about the book. And Lisa said, yeah, I know, or something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Lisa, she knew what she was doing. Lisa's producing. Then the people at the hotel just showed up out the blue at the table with some sort of energy cleaning ritual. I said, oh Lord, the staff at this hotel has watched The Real Housewives of every franchise and they said they don't want you acting a fool at their restaurant. So they gonna come down here and blow on the shells and sage around you and give you a little black tea to drink and ask you to act like you got some sense. It didn't really work, but at least they tried. And other people at this table have heard it as well. We've heard it. She said to me that she feels like an easy target. And she also feels like anything she says is never going to be good enough. I'm sorry, ladies. I am not buying this. You just don't like Sutton. <laughs> I will apologize for what I said last night. Having hearsay. Rumors. I understand how you feel. And no, I, I need for you to stop that. Yes. And I need for you to tell me that you're going to stop that. I understand how you feel is not saying no, I'm going to let stop her, let it. Let her finish, though. Erica, I, you're bugging the sh out of me. Why? Because why are you all in this? Like, let them figure it out. Why shouldn't I be in this? Moving forward in our friendship is important to me. I know, but you need to say it out loud so everyone can hear. You're not going to do that to me again. I'm not going to do that to you again. You That's said, not... I hate you, I like you. I did hear. No, yes. I hate what you did to me, not I hate you. No, but babe, she said I heard you. Said... you. I... Here she goes with the clumsy words again. I hate you, I like you. No, you I... need to let me finish for a second. I didn't Girl, say ruined. I've been listening to you. You need to let you're... me finish my sentence, please. It's do going I need to, be... to or... Do I'm I going to, to finish what I'm saying. I am a very good person. You told us and that I... already. And we yeah, I'm going to say it again. How's that happening? I'm going to members? say it again Sutton. until you can hear Sutton. me. Sutton, wait, hold on. No. Here. To turn on somebody who's trying to help you is, it's really not a normal behavior. What's the matter? Oh, good Lord. Oh, good Lord. Oh, good Lord. I can't. I just can't. Everybody's just way too much. Now, I would just like to say, who the hell asked Erica to represent Crystal? I, when did she get that law license? Uh, shut the hell up, okay? I appreciate Garcelle. I really do. I appreciate Garcelle jumping in. However, when Erica said, why is it not her business or why can't she be in it or whatever, I really wish that Garcelle would have stood firm and said, because this is between Crystal and Sutton, back the hell up, okay? We are not asking you about these victims' money. So leave the conversation. I mean, geez, Louise, be quiet. And then Diana jumping in as if she has anything to do with this conversation. Stop trying to cape for Crystal. The woman is 38 years old. Allow her to speak up for herself. You shut up. And Sutton, listen, woman, I hate to say it, but you did say that you love Crystal even though you hate her. That revisionist part that you were adding, maybe that's what you meant in your head, but that's not what came out your mouth. And can I also say this? For Diana to claim that Crystal needs to get some balls and she's always acting like she's this boss bitch, ma'am, why are you sitting at this table crying? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And Dorit told her that she understood that she was only trying to be good and trying to help. And she thought that Diana was talking really calm and nice to Sutton. Dorit, go somewhere and call PK, okay? Because you clearly were not at the same table. Diana, number one, was not trying to help. Number two, she was being rude as hell to Sutton. And number three, there was nothing kind about that woman's behavior. Stop it. Erica talking about you did nothing wrong, Diane. Diane talking about, oh, I love you, Erica. I love you too. Sure she does. She loves your money, your house, all of your jewelry, your whole glam squad. That's what Erica loves. She's looking for a new bestie, girl. Cut it. You know, it was just too much going on. And let me just say, sudden ma'am, 
you are not Crystal's mama. I did not appreciate that. She needs to apologize to you by using the exact words that you want her to use. Girl, get the hell out of here. If I was Crystal, I would have told Sutton, you will not get an apology from me. And I would have called you a few extra words. Maybe Crystal was wrong for throwing Sutton under the bus, but you don't talk to this woman like you were her mama. Get the hell out of here. Honey, listen, everybody's feelings would have been hurt at that table. Don't play with me. Don't talk down to me and ask me to repeat to you an apology verbatim you are not my mom you know how parents do that to kids when they have been acting up and you say go apologize to Billy and you tell him Billy I'm sorry for how I treated you and it won't happen again that's what parents do to small children this woman is grown she married to the director of the Lion King and she's got kids get the hell out of here Garcelle took the words out of my mouth when she said, everybody is just too much. I cannot. Everybody is over there. Woo, 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 woo to Diana, not the boss, bitch. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And don't give me that hormone story. Your baby is almost two years old. I'm going to have to Google it. I don't know if your hormones are still acting a fool after 18 months. I don't know. But no, ma'am, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Okay. I personally appreciate that Sutton stood up for herself and I thought it was quite weird, quite weird that uh, Lexapro Annie across the table is over here talking about Sutton, you've got your hand in her face. Really? Didn't you have your whole face scrunched up in Sutton's face last season? Girl, if you don't go somewhere. I do appreciate Kyle saying that she's not buying this. She's not here for the mess. You girl who are all caping for Crystal because you don't like Sutton. Honey, stop it. Stop it. Crystal sat there like a small child. Girl, you are too grown for this and too smart for it. When you said that Sutton said something dark, when it came out that so far when it came out that she hadn't really said anything dark all you had to say is i apologize let's move forward i should never have said that boom done and the next time one of these girls brought it up again which of course you know they have to bring it up at least to cover six episodes when they brought it back up you could have shut it all down and said nope we covered that done and move forward and if they wanted to still keep talking let them talk to the cell okay move the conversation to somewhere else or just get up grab your drink and go i'm just saying these ladies do way too much i know that they are filming a show i know that there's producers off to the side somewhere saying bring up the book uh, bring up something you know but stop it and when Sutton got upset and ran off from the table, I said, oh, woo, 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 you are doing good, honey. Don't run off crying. But when she came back and she apologized to Diane, Erica said she was crying. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I am pretty sure that she just apologized, number one. And number two, I'm pretty sure Diana said, don't make a big deal about it. Don't bring attention to the fact that she is crying. I thought you loved her. Shut your mouth. This is still not about you. However, when Diana decided that she wanted to jump in and get involved in Sutton and Crystal's argument, had I been Sutton, I would have said, oh, wait, you want to talk about our business? Well, let's talk about this book. You know, I would have brought it right back to room 23. I'm just saying, maybe I'm mean. Am I mean, peeps? Anyway, you guys, get down in the comments and let me know what you think. And until next time, bye.